Hey guys, this is Tom at VSC, and this is a quick instructional video on how to gather freeze frame data from your truck and why we need it. So freeze frame data typically is something you are gonna see us ask for if we see an issue with the truck or something that we wanna collect some information on, maybe something broke, something happened when you were driving and it set a check engine light. Typically, freeze frame information is there to capture what happened at the time of the occurrence. So I'm gonna simulate how to do this uh, on our 23U Condonale. But again, this stuff can work on any of your L5P trucks, no matter really what it is, anything that's OBD2 compatible, it will populate freeze frame data per SAE. So this is the way that it works and this is what you need. So you can do it with the HP Tuners uh, scanner, MVPI3 and a laptop. That's what we're using right here. You can also use a snap-on scanner, anything that'll collect the OBD2 information. Uh, GM MDI, if you have a power stroke, uh, you could use the Ford VCM uh, suite and all the Cummins software for anything you want to gather for Cummins uh, and so on and so forth. So this is how it works. Uh, we're gonna connect to the truck first. So you're gonna have HP Tuner Beta, open it up, and then use the icon to click and then connect to the vehicle. So we're gonna pull the data off the truck here really quick. So now we're connected. You can see we're connected. This is our Yukon Denali. And um, I'm gonna simulate setting a check engine light. So no check engine lights on right now. Uh, something that's pretty easy to find is unplugging like the mass airflow sensor to simulate this. So we'll unplug the MAF on this, or the MAF on this. And then MAF is now disconnected. The engine's gonna freak out because it's seeing zero pounds per minute of airflow coming in. The fans are gonna come on high. It's not super happy. It's gonna have probably a service emission soon light on the dash because it goes in the emission system and boom, a check engine light. All right, so go to your HP tuner scanner. You're gonna go up to the button to check diagnostics and information and you're gonna hit read DTCs and it's gonna show you that we got uh, P102 uh, for for mass airflow, and that's gonna be a low signal. Uh, U060F, lost communication. Uh, U codes are lost communication codes with mass or volume error sensor. And then some other sympathetic codes that don't matter as much. The U1436 is what's actually setting the service engine soon message on the dash. This is what's actually lighting the message up on the dash and that's what the freeze frame most likely is gonna capture. So two DTCs, as you can see. So here's how you get the freeze frames. Go to the next screen where it says freeze frame. Click on that and then click read freeze frame information. And it's gonna tell me exactly what happened. DTC 1430, or 1346 was the first out. And this is all the information with uh, this vehicle's ECM that was recorded at the time that this happened. And these things are critical for us to see what was going on. Vehicle speed, mass airflow, how long was it running before the DTC was set, uh, fuel level, barometric pressure, it shows a lot of environmental conditions. So free streams are something that's super important to us. It's something that we can help you guys remotely find out what's going on. And again, it's not a big deal to reset things. Uh, these are high speed can systems, literally to plug the mass airflow sensor back in, reset the security pin. Um, the fans are gonna die down. It's now happy. You can clear the DTCs and this thing's gonna go back to normal. Check engine light is gone. But this freeze frame report is what you guys need to send to us uh, or really anybody that you're working with. I guarantee you it's gonna help out um, any calibrator, if they're an actual calibrator, figure out what's going on with your truck miles away so again we're using hp tuner mvpi3 uh, and their software shout out to them for this but again hp tuners is one of many devices that you could do this with um snap-on tools uh gm tools anything and again that you could do that on l5ps you can do that on pretty much any single thing that you want to mess with but it just really depends what you're working with on what tool you need HP Tuners is kind of our go-to. Uh, Easy Link will capture it also. So that's all we got, guys. 